Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to insert a photo in Autodesk Fusion 360. You can also call this photo a canvas. So first we need a photo to insert. I'm sure you all know how to get a photo from the internet. And that is what I have already done. But if you haven't, you can go to Google. I've already searched Autodesk logo and that's what I'm going to insert. And you can click and you can right click on your photo and click save image as I've already have the save the image right here so I do not need this now what now since we're in fusion we can we have to look all the way to the near top right and we see this insert button you can insert a few things but we want to insert a canvas. Then this box will come up. It will say insert on the top left. There's an X if you actually don't want to insert something. And sometimes you might have photos that are already saved as projects. And you can see right here why this opens up. But we want to insert from our computer since our photo is saved there. So we want to click insert. And I'm going to go into my saved pictures and now I find the Autodesk logo right here and I'll open and then this box will come up called canvas it will say image right here and you have to select a face which is one of these squares I would rather have you pick the square between the green and red lines X and Y and you can click on that and then this box will come up it's much bigger than the first one and now you can choose how big you want your picture to be. So you can say one millimeter, three. Oh, that's the moving. If you wanna expand it since it's so small, you can just use that button. And say five. I think five is good. If you wanna rotate it, you can, I like the way it is. And it will also show you what distance you moved it and all, if you wanted to see it over here. And yet say this is good. You can alter your picture where, however you want. You can press okay. And now we have a canvas. Over here, this is kind of like a tile. Down here is a timeline. You can see you insert a canvas. And over here is kind of like a uh, outline of how many, like, like what you did on your project. So you can, it'll say the title name up here. It'll have document settings and name views at all time. It'll, and it will have origins at all time. Name views are just top, front, right, and home. Like here, you can just like go to the top, um, go to the front, right, and this is the home. It's kind of like an isometric view. And then if you wanted to see the origin, this is the origin. You can also click down and see where you want to see. You can also choose not to see the canvas, which is this eye part right here. So you can just say not see or see, but we do want to see our canvas. So we'll leave this here. And then when you click the down arrow, it'll show all your canvases or photos you inserted. You have to say you want to insert more than one. So you have to insert another one and it'll be the same process. I believe you can have an unlimited amount of canvases, canvases, but if there is a limit, I would really like to know. So you can leave that in the comments. You can just also press this canvas button right here, or you can click this row bar and say canvas. I think the canvas button is more efficient. This box comes up again. You click insert from my computer. Then you press then you choose what photo you want. I'm going to say capture and you can open that. Then you pick which face or plane you want it on and you want it on this plane. 
I do not want it on top of my Autodesk canvas, so I'm going to move it over here. Also, don't forget to pan and orbit. I think that's good. Actually, I think it needs to be a bit bigger. So that's good. Also, just keep note, this whole box is here just if you want to see the X, Y, Z angle, all of those things. Once you are done, you can press OK. And now, you have two canvases. If I haven't mentioned this already, if you press the, if you scroll, you can scroll, zoom in and out. Like let's say if you want to get a close look at the F in the Fusion 360 logo, I have a close look by scrolling to you. But if you scroll outwards, you'll zoom out. It's just a small shortcut. It's better for you to zoom in and out this way, unless you have a touch screen, so you zoom in and out. And sometimes that gets annoying. So now we have two canvases. What you can do with these canvases now is that you can create a sketch with them. And then you pick the plane. And since I was on the top, I there's only like one plane. If this sketch pile is getting in your way, you can minus it and move it around. If any of the boxes are getting in the way, you can move them around. Like let's say I want it over here. I can move it here. I've seen lots of people, once they have a canvas, they like trace it. So you can trace the logo. You can, if you just want to use the canvas as reference, you can. It really depends on what you want to do with it. I'll just finish my sketch for now. Oh, and you also notice that in the outline, sketches appears as well, and objects. So you see, I can choose if I want to see my sketch one or not. I don't want to see my sketches, so there I go. And now we have made two canvases from that were inserted from your computer, which but they technically came from the internet. So since you know how to make how to insert photos, you can trace them, you can make you can use them for reference, you can model them, you can really do whatever you want with these. And it's always handy to if you really want to insert a picture into Autodesk Fusion 360. That is it for this video, so all of you have a nice day.